Yeah, good morning, folks, and as usual, as the other speakers have done, I thank the organizers for accepting our contribution. Just one note to the organizers and also to future organizers that February is a very bad time for conferences for people from the Southern Hemisphere because the university term starts in February. Lectures begin on Monday at most universities. So all the young academics from South Africa, three of them have been forced to withdraw. And the only one that could come is a very retired academic, plus two very young students. And I think our Australian colleagues also have experienced the same problem in getting to conferences in February. Uh, my, con my contribution is in the formation of Fe3C, that is cementite nanoparticles in Fe implanted uh, highly oriented pyrolytic graphite and a CVD diamond sample. We investigated by MOSPAR spectroscopy, so the iron species we chose was iron 57. And the implantation was done taking the iron from a natural iron foil. So it took about three days to get sufficient iron 57 there to do the. Yeah. Uh, Fe three phases, why? They have an influence on the mechanical properties of steel and iron alloys. They play a role in the growth mechanism of carbon nanotubes. And then there is this continuous search of other growth mechanisms of these uh, carbides. And of course, the fourth point is that in the production of synthetic diamonds, the transition metals play the, the break the carbon-carbon bond and also act as a catalyst to get the carbon to recombine to form the diamond structure. In the case of our study, as I said, we looked at growth of Fe3C in diamond and graphite following implantation of heavy, uh, Fe ions and annealing in vacuum up to about 800 degrees C. We tracked the formation of these crystallites with conversion electron MOSFET spectroscopy. So I'm going straight to the spectra. Yeah. In the graphite, as you can see, up to about 300 degrees C annealing, there's lots of lattice damage. You can hardly see any other structure, but two doublets due to iron sitting in damaged sites in the lattice. And then with annealing at 400 C, you see sexets starting to appear. And then at 500 C, you see a good distribution of sexets there. And the fits, we used the parameters that others had used in bulk Fe3C and then allowed it to relax. And what you notice is that we required two sextets to fit the main sext, uh, structures and then some smaller sextets there which we could assign from previous measurements to Fe7C3 and the two sex sets to Fe3C. Next one, please. And here in the CVD diamond, there's quite a dramatic change when you get to 800C. The damaged doublets virtually disappear in the middle. What we are left with is three sex sets that could be fitted to the spectra. And the punch line, no conclusions, but come and see poster PG04, Thursday, 14th Feb. And in order to come to conclusions, we compare our results from these, anal uh, from these analysis with previous results, both for nano and bug Fe3C. And that leads us to some conclusions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>